Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I just want to go over a few things with you guys, just so I can get some feedback, give you guys some updates on what I've been working on and what's new. So, I built these canopies. I've been working on getting my all my lighting together, and you guys know I like to test out equipment. So we got um, Kessel over here, and we got the Hydra, the AI, and I love all these lights, but I needed something. Um, a little more stable for this tank and I was going to get some more of the Radions, uh, the new G4s, but just the price is so high I just right now didn't want to put them over display so I got something from China and I'll be testing out actually one of my favorite old lights, uh, one of their updated versions so it has one of the strongest blues and the deepest penetration so for a tank like this where the Kessel just can't quite cut it. Not that, not, you know, nothing wrong with the Kessel, just this tank, it's suited for a different aquarium. But anyway, so you guys will see some new lights like that. The Kessels um, will be gone and so will the Hydras over this tank. But, and I also sold these rocks. So these rocks will be gone. Plus I have to put in some new Predator Fish and Angels, the Blue Ribbon Eel, Porcupine Puffer. There's a lot of stuff going in here. I'm debating on putting a Hellfire Anemone in here. It's just, this tank is not something you're going to want to put your hand in, so, so yeah, so these kind of um, rocks are going to have to go, um, anyway, I didn't want uh, angels to eat them up, I was afraid to see what happens once I put the triggers and angels in here, um, I'm pretty risky as it is, it's attempting to leave these rocks in here because they could eat them, it's uh, always, uh, always a gamble. So know your fish, know your corals, do your research, make sure you have everything together before you attempt to create an aquarium. Because you will find that your fish die, disappear, um, certain things don't mix well, fish become food for other animals, <laughs> so you never know. Shrimp, definitely the trigger would love some shrimp. Uh, Alright, so anyway, tank's looking wonderful. I can't wait to finish, like I said, up those lights, test out the new ones. Fish are looking good. Um, yellow tangs we got in, purple tang, Achilles tang, powder blue tang, uh, blonde naso. I've been loving the blonde naso, and I'm so tempted to put the blonde naso in with this flame angel and the display. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys would think about that. Putting the blonde naso in with all these other tangs. And then maybe throw in a hippo. Uh, I would complete the bunch. So let me know what you guys think about. Is it possible to add any more tanks to this tank already? Um, it's pretty packed. So, all right, moving on, moving on. These tanks over here, I was going to rip them down. Um, you know, the top tank gets lost up there. And it just becomes, you know, grow out tank for whatever the heck is up there. I, I almost never go up there and look. So... It's a nice place to put something if you want it to grow and not mess it up. But I'm working on a couple different designs for, like I said, getting more anemones um, without pumps. I may do a closed loop system. So the 60 gallon deep blue tanks that are going to go here, I guess over top of this table. So I'm going to build and suspend two 60 gallon tanks on top of this table so that's what I'm thinking so that'll be pretty interesting it's a lot of wasted space over there so you know I'm thinking easily they're four foot each that's an eight foot table it's almost meant to be and I don't need all that headroom look at that light all the way up there lonely by itself so 120 gallons of anemones and mushrooms are probably gonna go over there and I just want to separate things. I, I, I know you can have a mixed reef and that's all great and good, but when you're trying to keep corals, you really want to separate the things that sting each other and the things that just need different requirements, especially when you're feeding. Um, you know, if you don't have the current, you don't have the fish in your tank, a lot of the food can fall on top and actually start to decay on the corals in between them. So fragging systems are not ideal for reef aquariums. They just trap. Um, detritus and they slow down water movement so it's really I mean it's really a battle when you're trying to have a store and, 
and keep corals healthy and alive and you know propagate them and it, it's 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 work so everything's changing for me all the time I'm testing out new refugiums different things sea urchins starfish inverts dosing RODI systems uh, sh different shipping stuff I'm always trying to do something new just to be on the up and up and just make it better if it's easier for you guys and you can keep fishing corals without worrying about killing them I mean that's exactly what I want so I'd rather you guys be happy with the corals you get than me try to sell somebody a rare coral that ends up dying during transport I mean that's that's not what I'm about just to make the buck I'd rather make people happy and, and get that satisfaction so I appreciate you guys feedback as always Thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Please let me know what you think I should do. I will be posting the new lights as soon as they come in. So I can't wait to change these. But if there's a coral you guys want, if there's something you're looking for, I plan on just dumping a ton of coral over the next um, couple days. Some huge favia packs, some chalices. Uh, I just have too many corals at the moment and I kind of want to uh, lighten my load. So if anyone's looking for some real cheap corals and just want some small frags or something, I can throw together some big mixed packs, um, you know, if you're looking for something like that. So there you guys go. If I miss something, feel free to tell me. Contest is over tonight. Get your entries in. Um, you know, I'm going to go through and make a montage. You know, it's funny. I do this just for fun. I do this because I love the hobby and I want to bring more people into the hobby. And I'm sure someone will find a way to complain or say it's not fair or cry or, or whatever. But like I said, we're all adults. Um, I've learned a lot. You know, I ignore the bad. A lot of people, you know, come to me with problems about reefing and stuff and other people in the hobby. And I'm just like, dude, I do this because I love it and I want to. I um, have a long history of traveling the world. And, be, and doing amazing things so for me like I said this is what I want to do my kids were growing up I wanted to be around them I didn't want to be one of those dads that was traveling that couldn't be there so Coral Lust is all about me being a better person for my family um, just me in general trying to be a happy person and do this the right way and support friends with the common interest a lot of people take this too personal they get they do weird stuff they get upset over stuff and I'm like, if you make a video on lighting and I make a video on lighting, that's great. We both have information out there that can help someone. But when I get a phone call and someone's mad because I made a video that they think it was a video that they made, I mean, come on, dude, it's ridiculous. So YouTube is huge. And so is selling coral. The more people we get into it, the more swaps we have, the better feedback we get from people, the lessons are learned faster. So I'm here for everyone. Um, I do my best to answer everyone's questions, give everyone the same attention. I had to limit some of my sales just so I could focus on customers a little bit better. But like I said, customer satisfaction is my goal. I'm trying my best. There are going to be haters out there. There's going to be people who are upset, who are just bitter at life, and just have things, nothing good to say. So right away, I weed those people out. I mean, it's 2018. I have seen enough, I mean after almost losing my arm, it kind of was like a, a reality, like a culture shock to me, everything was just settling in. And I'm like, dude, I don't need this hassle, I could walk away from this today. And there's people who appreciate me and appreciate what I do, and guys, all the more power to you, thank you so much for your kind words and for being nice friends. But then there's other people who just want to hurt, man, I don't know what's wrong with you. You weren't hugged enough as a kid, I'm sorry about that, you know? I wish I had more time with my dad growing up, but don't hold it against me. You know, don't be mad at the coral or your fish or whatever issues you got. Dude, this is a fun hobby, and I, I'm sorry I even got to talk about this, but like I said, this is me. I'm going to be vlogging, doing more weird videos, cleaning out the sump. Maybe I'll do customers' tanks. You know, I'm just trying to bring this hobby into light and help everyone and share in with the great people who I love. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. I'm hoping this contest works out and I just get nothing but good feedback hearing about people's corals. I'm looking forward to reading all your um, pictures and posts and what you wrote about your tanks. So, 
Thank you very much for being a part of this. I do appreciate it. Thank you guys. You know who you are. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Until next time.